Okay, so I stayed up all all morning to watch the Oscars, uh, which, by the way, was was very boring, and I don't understand why they had three um, hosts. But anyway, it happened. Uh, I'm sure by now that you guys have have seen the altercation between Chris Rock and Will Smith. Um, <laughs> we're living in dangerous times, so. Like I'm beginning to realize that almost we human beings have become um, very unpredictable. Like we we have become like we just go with the flow. Like you know we try to define and we try to. So there's a thin line and it's very blurry right now between what is proper and what is work. You know. So I mean, whether you like it or not, both men are legendary when it comes to the achievements in, in the industry. Chris Rock is one of the most amazing, one of the most iconic, you know, comedians in, in the history of, of the craft. You know, um, he has given his voice for fighting for the rights of a lot of people, including the same race, black people. You know, he has given everything in raising a generation of comedians who he can be proud to say I have, you know, worked with, you know. Um, Will Smith, you know, I give it to him. He has achieved a lot in his career, you know, and it's been an amazing career. So both men really, really come with a level of pedigree. And so yesterday, um, or during the Oscars, this Oscars, um, Chris Rock did a joke about G.I. Jane 2 and simply referring to the bald-headed um, Jada Pinkett who was sitting in front of the, you know, um, um, the, the theater. And for a moment, everybody laughed, including Will Smith. He laughed at the joke, and but then his wife wasn't taking it. Now, apparently, there's been an issue. That, that apparently, her going bald is because of some sort of medical condition that she's publicly has spoken about. You know, so she felt offended by the joke. Will Smith didn't, wasn't offended by this joke. So check the tape and see. He laughed at the joke. But I guess that when he noticed that his wife was hurt and, uh, you know, it, something happened, you know, on live television. So this was live, national television. While Chris Rock was up there as a presenter, you know, Will Smith stood up, walked to him and actually hit him on live television. And came back, sat down, and made sure twice with a loud voice said, Keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. That was what he said. Said it twice. You know, and for a moment, you know, it destabilized Will, um, um, Chris Rock because he didn't see it coming. You know, and you could see that everybody initially thought it was a joke or it was scripted. But then when Will started shouting and saying, Keep my wife's name out of your mouth, People realize that, okay, this was not scripted. This is real. And, you know, it happened. I, I, I was watching. I was like, this looks funny. There's something wrong about this. It just doesn't feel right. You know, but Will Smith sat back and continued the event like nothing happened. Was laughing through the whole thing. Um, the Academy didn't think it was important for them to have escorted him out of the place because you just walked on national television and you smacked somebody. That's assault. I don't care what the situation was, you know. And nothing was done about it. He sat down there. People came up and, you know, and and he eventually won the Oscars for the best leading role male in, 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 in you know, and went up there with some lame um, um, speech. I thought that was very lame. It was absolutely not one of the best speeches I've heard, you know. And because it was that lame, I was upset. Why? Because, first of all, he wanted to spiritualize the whole thing, how he defended his family and blah, blah, blah. And now, and now um, what do you call it, made an apology to the, to the academy, but did not apologize to Chris Rock. Who, by the way, I thought did an amazing job in avoiding a situation and he took it and was the bigger person in the room that day and held his own and continued whatever. You see what me I'm trying to say is that I'm beginning to see a lot of narratives out there. People now praising Will Smith 
and you know the walk whatever is not saying oh there's even a trend now the same protect black women also so what happened when regina king also made joke about their marriage and everybody laughed didn't do oh, the, so the jada pinkett is not a black woman that should have been protected from a regina king's um regina hall i mean regina king's a uh, 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 joke and suddenly there is a there's a whole hashtag out there protect black women and all the black women and whoever supports them are coming out now and supporting how with me went up there and protected his wife come on people no 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 let's not do this let's that yeah, really really we need to call out wrong is wrong yes yeah, so fine um 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 what's his name uh chris rock did a joke that was detestful i get that and comedians once in a while go there and sometimes it doesn't land and maybe this night it did not land but that did not in any way warrant that will smith would stand up and go off stage in front of the national audience and smack another you know um adult uh, it, it's just unacceptable from every angle it does not even make any sense it was the lowest of the low and nobody should praise will smith for what he did it is ridiculous because for decades, Chris Rock has held his own and for decades, he has done such an amazing job. Okay, fine. He messed up just one day. This club is something that will have been taken care of after the show. You know, the conversation should have been held somewhere else, but not on national television. Because now what have we done? Set the precedent. Now, so jokes cannot be said. You cannot go on a roast. People can just stand up and go and meet you on stage on national and smack you and nothing happens. No. It is not acceptable and anybody that supports this is just being just being ridiculous at this point there is no way you will support what will smith did if that's not how you even defend your family as a matter of fact the same thing that you are accusing chris rock of doing you have done the same thing and you yours is even worse because yours is even physical you know so it is completely wrong and nobody should accept what will smith has done you know, and, and to think that Will Smith did not even have the capacity to even apologize to the Chris Rock on stage. Wanted to give an excuse about how you're a celebrity, people make just so uh, the Chris Rock is what? He's not a celebrity. You think he has not come under attack too? Come on, guys, let's, let's not be, let's not, let's not do this. You know, I'm seeing sensible people saying, oh, this is right. That was right. Da, 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 da. No, that's not how you defend your family. That is not, it is not acceptable and the Academy should not accept this. I am of the opinion that Will Smith should be denied this Oscars. Even if he's not denied, something should be done about it. But he cannot just come smack somebody on the face and then you collect an Oscar and you're making some sort of dumb speech. Let's not go there. Because by the time we begin to accept these things, it now becomes a thing. And anybody can just do whatever and everyone we're fine with it. No. It is not acceptable. It is wrong. It is not the right way to handle this matter. And we smell goofed. And if the academy allows this to go, then that's a problem. You know, me, I don't even expect that, uh, what's the name, uh, Chris Rock is going to press charges. I am sure he knows that he did wrong. But for the fact that Will was stupid enough to go up there and go and smack him, no, that's not acceptable. It's not. Please, I'm just saying that we should be careful how we allow these things become precedents. And then next time, when it happens to somebody that we are, is dead to us, we will now start calling something else. We will now start turning into, because this is what's going to happen. Americans will rally around this thing now, make it look like, oh, it's a woke thing. Yeah, Will did the right thing. Tomorrow, it happens to somebody else, and then it becomes a problem. I was completely embarrassed on behalf of, 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 of what's his name, uh, Chris Rock. He, that shouldn't have happened to him, you know, and they should have settled this as men outside. And so well, imagine what if, if, well, imagine if Chris Rock decided to retaliate, then imagine how, what a mess would have been. This is how black people behave. And now they're going to want to try to go and clean their image. You know, I mean, I can't remember anybody ever going up stage, any white person ever going up stage to go and smack anybody. Now you're going to go and turn into a race thing. See how, see how ras black people can be. And now let's tell ourselves the truth. I beg, let's not lie about this thing. This guy messed up and he messed up big time. We should, that should not be accepted.